spur on the side. It's a little thing that sticks out. That means you can't move your leg all the way out. Like if we can move our legs out while we're sitting down. Do we have enough? People at the front have enough leg room. They can move their, move, move one of your, move your left leg to the side. There's nothing stopping you. Move your right. That's not funny. <laughs> you don't hear people. <laughs> And now try and move your right leg, like, you know, it's exactly the same movement. You can't hit anybody because it's going to be sitting on that side. <laughs> but for me, I, I can't do that. And now there's bone on bone rubbing and there's cartilage and everything. And sometimes it just sort of just clicks out. Like, I think that sounds really cool, but, you know, it just clicks out. It, it really, really hurts though. But I still keep going. I'm still standing here. I just still do everything. Now I'm still blind. I have medication infused lupus, which causes me to change moods, get confused, and get really sick very easily. I have no control over it though. Lupus is like arthritis, where it attacks your body's white blood cells. And here are some celebrities that I found out when I googled lupus that came up with that also have it. It's like Michael Jackson, St. Gomez, Seal, and Lady Gaga. I bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Every four weeks, I have a wonderful time off on a day. Yes, I played Monopoly just once, but it involves way too much concentration. And when you play with somebody who's very competitive, like my boyfriend, it doesn't work very well. I just stick to Uno. It's much more fun. And the nurses get involved as well. <laughs> yes, Uno is good. You should try it sometime. <laughs> So I'm stuck in there having an infusion and it keeps me moving and it keeps me going. It's another one of the many infusions that I have had. And, but it is, you know, it's sad to say that I am just in front of you here today, breathing, moving around, sounding all happy because of medication. So I've taken it on myself to do kids arthritis, pranks for kids arthritis, as, long as, all, as well as all the other voluntary things that I do, like hosting and producing my own radio show, which is tons of fun. I also run my own personal trainer business. Yes, I have, I run a business that's a personal training. Yes, that's right. I do personal training. I can actually do exercise, you know. Ask me 15 years ago, or tell me, Sarah, when you're 20, you're gonna be a personal trainer. I'm like, get out. No way. Somebody who has a crippling disease that sticks them in a wheelchair for two years, that has to not let them do sport for their whole life, is going to be a personal trainer and get big muscles and help change people's lives through exercise. No way, I wouldn't be doing that. But I am, and I love it. And the arthritis is the reason why I do it. Because if I can exercise and get big muscles, so can you guys. I also do tons of other voluntary things with the CFS cadets, as my father is the high school group officer up in the hills. Green team, has anybody in here done a green team? probably don't know what green team is. If you were a schoolie in the last 10 year bracket, you'd know what uh, green team is. And volunteering with the Chunky United Church. I started Kids Arthritis uh, to create awareness about this crippling life disease that so many children and young people have. I did it because there's the lack of support that I've received over my life from the organizations that are there that are supposed to help. Pranks for Kids Arthritis is one of the things uh, and ways that I'm using to create awareness about kids' arthritis. These series of short prank videos that a few people in this room have been pranked with, and <laughs> they get angry at me for about two days and then they sort of get over it. And I'm like, yeah, you got pranked because kids get arthritis. So it's all in a good game anyway. They figured that out and that's all good eventually. <laughs> I do these short prank videos with a group of volunteers and myself. Um, we do these videos weekly and they put smiles on us, the people that we prank, once they get over the fact that I prank them on the internet. And also the kids that have the arthritis. It's, it's so great that we're doing all of this stuff and it's creating awareness about kids' arthritis as well. So after hearing all of this and laughing, as the girls in the front have been doing, and just, yeah, everything. You're probably wondering how you can sort of help kids like myself, even though I'm 20, you know, kids like myself, um, or just other kids out there, because there's so many of them that now you're probably going to think, does that kid have arthritis when you see them walking along the road? And 
and that's good. That's sort of what I want you to do. I want you to remember that you know kids do get arthritis as well. So there's ways up here that you can help. Of course, head on to YouTube and laugh your head off. That's one of the ways that I did sort of meet Belinda and we started talking about pranks to kids arthritis. I made her happy by watching, by making her watch one of the videos about me getting pranked involving my car and three boys. It's, yeah, it's not good. Three boys and a car and a girl, yeah, <laughs> with the prank. Uh, we have Facebook as well, because everybody seems to be on Facebook these days. You can head on there and you can find the links that way to so the videos. And Instagram, because everybody has Instagram. It's where we put up photos and videos and behind the scenes stuff. So you can see me hanging out with three guys film and prank videos. It, it is funny. There are some funny things that happen. <laughs> so I, I encourage you to go on, hit like, subscribe, share it around, use the hashtag. Just let everybody know about kids' arthritis because one day I really hope that the question, did you know that kids get arthritis, will never be asked again. Thank you very much and thank you for being here.